Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week, um, we're doing something a little different, a little fun. Um, I actually saw a girl on TikTok and I should have remembered her name, but I don't. And she did a TikTok where she like rated all her foundations and she did concealers. And I believe she did mascaras as well. And she pretty much went through and said, you know, this one's great, I like it for these reasons, or this one's not great because of these reasons, that kind of thing. And I thought, well, you know, I have a lot of makeup too. And some of it I've tried, some of it I haven't tried. So today, um, we are going to be testing all my mascaras, trying them against each other and figuring out which one's the best. Obviously, I don't own every mascara out there. I do have some drugstore ones and I have some high-end ones. Um, and obviously, this is just my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but I haven't even tried all the mascaras. Some of them I've never opened before. Some of them I tried once and I didn't like or whatever. And we're gonna try them again to see if my first impression was correct. And yeah, that's why I kind of look like this. I have only powder foundation on. I just have the Fenty powder foundation and I have eyebrow gel in my eyebrows. I was gonna say in my eye, but not in my eye um, because I'm gonna be taking it off, taking off the mascara after every kind of round so that we can test all of them. So I, that's why I look like this. Okay, so I have just clipped back my hair a little bit and zoomed you in so you can see my eyelashes. Um, so first up, we are going to be doing um, testing two against each other and then I'm going to pick the one that I like best and then I'll kind of like move on to the final round or whatever. Um, so the first up is the Lise Wattier. Um, this is the V Element volcanic minerals mascara looks like this um this is just a uh, like a tiny tube some of these are smaller tubes because i got the um like mascara sampler pack from shoppers so you get these little tubes to try all these different mascaras and then you get a coupon to buy the full size tube so it's a really good deal if you guys want to do that that's a really good way to figure out which one you like and which ones you don't like. Um, so yeah, so that one, this is gonna go on the left eye. This is the Lee Swatier. And on my right eye, we are going to be doing the Clinique um, High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara. Looks like that. The lights kind of like shine on it weird. Um, again, just a little tube. So we're gonna test these two against each other. Full disclosure guys, some of these mascaras are not brand new. Um, I've had them for a little while. So some of them might be a little bit drier than they normally would if you got the tube, but we're gonna do our best. And I mean, I know how long I've had the mascara, so I'll like take that into consideration as well. Here we go. Okay, to start, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. This is just a um, generic curler from London Drugs. Um, I just have a little mirror here that I'm just gonna use. I usually do curl my eyelashes, um, usually every day, just to give them their best chance. I don't have super straight lashes, but I like a very voluminous lash, I guess. Oh, and that's the other thing is, again, this is just my personal opinion. I do tend to like a more volumizing mascara rather than a lengthening mascara. I like one that does both, but I don't like the spider legs look. So I will definitely keep that in mind when like assessing these because I know some people do really like a lengthening mascara. Not so much for me, but you'll be able to see as I put them on my eyes and you can make your own decision. Okay, so this is just the wand. This is the Lise Wattier one. Um, as you can see, it's super 
thick. Um, I believe those are artificial hairs and kind of looks like a brush that I would use that gives like a more clumpy look. So we're going to try it. Let's go. Okay, so this is one coat. As you can see, it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if you guys kind of saw when I was doing that. It might be a little bit hard to see. But usually my technique for mascara, start at the very root, kind of wiggle and work your way up. And that's usually what I do. And then I usually go over the tips again um, just to get that length in there if possible. Um, yeah, I actually really like that one. I haven't used that in a really long time. That brush was really nice. Um, some people, if you have a smaller eye, might find it a little bit thick, um, like a little bit large, I guess, um, to use. But yeah, so far so good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the um, Clinique one on this eye, and then I'm going to do another coat on each of them, letting it dry in between because um, I usually do two coats and then we'll see where we're at. So, ooh, oh, I forgot about this. This is the Clinique one. I remember getting this and being like, this is so weird. It's very stiff bristles. I don't know if you can kind of see, you know, you can't really tell, but like they're very stiff. They're very short. It's got this kind of like weird shape which I guess is good for the corner of the eye the the end part but I remember being like I'm not sure about this wand so let's try it on my right eye I almost forgot what my left and right were let's go okay so there is the Clinique one um you know what? It felt really weird to put on like that brush. I'm not a fan of, I did get some on my eyelids. So sorry about that. Um, but I do like it actually. Okay. Let, you know what? Let's do another coat on each and then I'm going to assess and pick a winner, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's see. Oh, shoot. You know what? I thought this was going to be really easy. I went into this with a clear winner and now I'm not sure. Okay. So let's, let's see. This is two coats of each. This is the Lee Swatier one. I really like the kind of volume it's giving. Um, I think it's like definitely more of the kind of look that I usually go for, like a little bit clumpier. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like it. I know that I like that one. The brush is something I would usually pick out for myself. And this one, this is the Clinique one. That brush is really weird. I don't think I'm a fan but like those look really good on camera. They look like, I don't know guys. I think I like this one. This one is like volume and separation. And I don't know, this just like looks like it's a little more like false lash. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. I should have. Okay. Mm. I think I'm going to have to go with this one, guys. I think I am. Like, I don't know. I think, yeah, you know what? 
it's not as like clumpy lash this one's more clumpy but this one like it's giving me that kind of false lash effect other than the fact that I have mascara on my eyelid I think I'm gonna go with the Clinique as the winner Clinique wins this one but this one is good I do know that I like the least Watier so Clinique wins this round Okay guys, I just took off that mascara. Just so you know, to remove all the mascara, I am using the Garnier Missler Water. Um, this one is just the normal sensitive skin. Oh, this one is the one that does waterproof. Um, I don't wear a lot of waterproof, like mascara or anything, but I like this one because it just like, it really takes off everything. Um, so that's what I'm using to remove my makeup. Um, and none of these, none of these, no, none of these, I just had to double check. None of these are waterproof, um, but I know some of them do come in a waterproof version. Okay, next up, we are testing the Benefit They're Real Mascara. Um, this one is a little bit older, so it, like, might be a little bit dry, but... This one is like Cult Beauty, no, Cult Beauty is a brand, but like, or sorry, a website. This, um, it's like been around for a long time. Like if you know, you know. And this one I've been hearing a lot about recently. It's the It Superhero Mascara. Um, yeah, we're just going to try these. I have some preconceived notions about these ones. Um, let's try. Let's do this on the left, this on the right. Here we go. We're trying this one first, the It. So this one, uh, the one looks like this, just like standard, shorter bristle hairs, kind of like the Clinique one, but I don't know. Let's try. I mean, I have thoughts about this. Um, I'm not gonna curl my eyelashes because they're already a little bit curled from last time. So let's try this one. Okay, so that is coat one. Um, as I say, I actually have some preconceived notions about these ones already, but um, it's like more lengthening and not a lot of volume. I feel like it just is a lot of work to get anywhere but we'll see what coat two brings let's try the benefit one on my other eye oops I almost dropped my mirror got eyeshadow everywhere <laughs> so this wand um is super funny so it's got this little like knobby thing on the end that's actually to get in the corners of the eyes I think it's a little bit weird um I have poked myself with this before um it's super spiky, artificial, like plasticky hairs. Um, but yeah, let's give it a try. Here we go. Okay, so that is the um, They're Real one. Um, that one is also one of the ones that I find is not super voluminous, but I do find that it's a little bit easier to work with. So from far away, like not far away, but like, on camera, I, like, can't really see either of them. They're not, like, wow, eyelashes, which is the look that I like. I do have to say with this artificial wand, like, the plasticky, it is kind of weird. Like, it feels weird on my lashes, and it kind of makes a funny noise because it's, I think, trying to grip to your lashes, but I don't know. Let's, let's do another coat, and we'll see.
Okay, so that is two coats on both sides. I can't even get this lid on. Um, neither of these are my favorite mascaras. I actually don't really like either of them. Um, this one definitely did volumize a little bit more, but up close, it's very like, it looks dry. Um, is the best way to describe it. Like it looks like it's clumpy dry, which is not my favorite look. From far away, you can definitely see these ones more, but I really don't like this mascara at all. This one, they are definitely more lengthening, which I, like I said at the beginning, not my favorite look. So I don't like this mascara either, but I can see how you would like this. Um, they are like long, individual like can you see what I mean about this one being just like it looks dry and I do like I'd like I like that look maybe it's my preconceived notion but I don't like that mascara um unfortunately so I'm gonna have to give it to benefit on this one they're the winner benefit they're real but as I say not my favorite mascara on either end definitely between now the winners, the Clinique and the Benefit, we're going with the Clinique still. So that's still number one, Benefit's number two, just by default. Um, sorry, It Cosmetics, not my favorite, but I like your stuff, sorry. Okay, so for our next pair up, um, we are going to do two drugstore ones against each other. The um, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This used to be my favorite mascara when I was younger. It has since been reformulated, I believe. It's, well, yeah, it's not bad, but let's see. And then the competitor is the, of course, Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. This is the one that everyone is talking about. I have done a previous video on this one, so if you want to see a full review on it, go check it out there. Um, but yeah, let's let's see. I think I know who's gonna win this one too, but let's give it a go. So this brush is a little curved one. As you can see, it's got a little curve on it. Mm, not my favorite. I'm not like mad at it, but it's like, it's whatever. Okay, so that is coat one. Um, this one is definitely one that I layer quite a bit to get the volume. Um, but like I said, I like it. These two mascaras are the ones that I kind of go between and I wear every single day. Um, so I know that I like them in general. But yeah, that's that one. This is the wand for the Sky High one. Very similar vibes, actually, to the It Cosmetics and the uh, Clinique one. Short bristles. Sorry, I should put my hand there. Short bristles. Like, plasticky. Kind of like the Benefit one. But not the bristles on the Benefit one are, like, quite spiky. Which I don't really like. So these ones are a little short and stubbier. Let's see how we go. Okay, so that is the Sky High Mascara, and that is the falsies one. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit of surprise on this one too. Let's do a second coat and see where we're at. Okay, so that is two coats of each. Um, so this guy, I feel like could get there. I feel like I need to work at it more though. Like, 
I'd have to really kind of like get in there a couple times. This one seems just a little easier to build up. And this one's newer. This is my newest mascara. I haven't had that maybe like, I don't know, maybe a month. I don't know. Anyways, this one I think I like because I feel like it's giving me a little bit of volume. And obviously the length is there. These look a little more spidery and non-committal. Like, I think I'm going to have to give it to the Lash Sensational. As I say, this Falsies one, this has been my tried and true for quite a while. They have reformulated it, I believe. So I think I'm going to have to give it a pass now and give it to this new Sky High one. So, in just a check back here, we have these three at the moment. I think I'm going to have to test these two against each other later, maybe. But I think the Clinique one is still, I don't know. I think the Clinique one might still be at the top. So we're going one, two, and three at the moment. That's where we stand. So let me take these off and we'll get down to our last couple pairings. Okay, guys. So we are down to our last couple pairings here. This one, um, I'm pretty excited about. We are going to do the Milk Makeup. This is the um, Kush Mascara, again, a mini size, against the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. I know that I like these two. I know that I like both of them. And I'm really excited to see which one is the winner. Let's go. So first we're gonna start with the Milk Makeup one. This one is a little bit older. These both are actually a little bit older and they are both on their last legs. Like I've used all of it, most of it. Um, so we'll see. So this is the um, brush for the Milk Kush Mascara. Again, it's this like full volume. Um, I think it's got natural fibers. And yeah, I'm just gonna like really dig into this one because again, I know it's on its last legs and let's give it a go. Okay, so that is coat one of the Milk Mascara. Um, pretty standard, a little more volumizing than lengthening, but I like it. Next, we are going into the Stila one. This brush is a little more shaped like the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Hourglass one. It is kind of like cinched in the middle. Um, sorry about how disgusting this brush looks. It does have these like really short bristles. And I remember the very first time I tried it, I put it on and the words that came to mind were aggressively clumpy. And at first I was like, it's too much. But once it kind of like dries down a little bit, it's not so wet, it's better. This one, like I say, the, this is more on the dry side because it, I've had it for a while. Um, but yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, so that is just one coat of um, the Stila. And as you can see, this is the milk one. This is clumpy. This is thickening. She's thick. This one is thickening, but it does have a little more separation to it. Like it looks more like eyelashes, whereas this one's like eyelashes. That made no sense. I'm going to do a second coat and you can tell me, let me know what you think in the comments about all of these. I want to know your opinion and which one you would choose. Interesting development. 
And this does, this does sometimes happen with the Stila one. I don't know if you can see, you can. Check out right like there. It's clumped a bunch of lashes together. So it looks like I have one large lash. Sometimes I do find that happens with this one. Um, sorry, I'm just getting the mascara off my fingers. That's not my favorite thing about this mascara, but, so this is the milk one. It's voluminous, it's like more separating, so I look like I have more eyelashes, but this is super clumpy, but they are clumped together. Ooh, this one's tough. This one's tough. You know, I thought... It's hard to say because they're both kind of at the ends of their lives. So I know that this one can look better. But it's really clumpy. Really clumpy. On the ends right now. And it does have that kind of dry formula right now that the it cosmetics one had and i didn't choose it because it was the dryer formula so i think i'm gonna give it to the milk mascara one which makes me really sad because when this was like newer this was my every day but I think I'm gonna have to give it to Milk Kush Mascara, which makes me really sad. But do, if you really like a clumpy lash, this is your girl. She's extremely clumpy. So with the ranks at the moment, we have these three. So I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put the Milk Mascara right here number two next to the Clinique at number one. I'm really shocked about this Clinique one guys. I might have to like try it again at the end of the video just just to be sure because I'm like I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay I'm just gonna take this off. Okay guys so I actually forgot that we are doing one last pairing but this is a special one. We are going to do my number one the Clinique against a brand new mascara. This one is the one that I was saying I have not opened yet. And I'm really excited for it. I've heard really good things about it. I was gonna save it for a different video, but here we are, we're doing it. It is the NARS Climax Mascara. I got the mini size in, I don't know how I got this. Maybe a sample of some kind, I don't know. Anyways, I have it. I'm really excited. I am have very high hopes for it. And that is why I have chosen this one as my winner. And this one is going to go against it. And we're going to see which one I like better. NARS or Clinique. I thought I was a drugstore girl. I mean, I am for a lot of things. But <sighs> let's try. I'm so surprised. Again, I'm so surprised. I can't believe Clinique is at the top here. That's honestly, if you were to put all these mascaras in front of me and like without trying them, say which one would be your, like in your top three, this would be nowhere close. This would be in my bottom three. So I'm really shocked that it's at the top, but we're going to give it another try. I'm going to do it on my left eye and we're going to see if that was just a fluke or if it's really, if it's really the thing. I'm just gonna give my eyelashes a quick little curl because she deserves it in the finale. Okay, we're doing Clinique on the left eye. Let's go. Again, this brush, I can't, I can't. But if it works, it works, right?
Okay, that is coat one of, again, the Clinique. This is the high impact um, lash elevating mascara. This brush, I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. It's hard to use, but it does good things. Ah, okay. I'm super stoked for this. This has been my closet just waiting, just waiting for me to use it. I have a, a good feeling that this is going to be like my clumpy lash dreams right here, but we're going to find out. This is live reaction for you. NARS Climax Mascara. I've never seen the brush. Well, I have online, but like, oh, oh, she thick. That's the brush. It's big. It is spiky, long bristles. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. This is the Clinique side, one coat. This is the NARS side, one coat. Similar. So here's the thing. I like what this NARS one is doing. The brush is spiky. It's really spiky. Those bristles are not soft. So I'm a little bit upset about that. I think you have to be careful because they're long but they're not very soft. They're like quite spiky. So I can see how I could hurt myself <laughs> with it. Um, I like what it did. It's not as clumpy as I thought it was going to be, but let's do another coat on each one and we will pick an ultimate mascara winner. Here we go. Okay, guys, here it is. We have Clinique on the left, NARS on the right. What do we think? I think I have a winner. I want to know your opinion in the comments. Let me know. Okay, here's pros about each of them. Pros and cons. I don't know. This one is super, it's like, I want to say like natural lash, but it's like all my lashes. I can see all of them. They're there. They're longer. They're like more volumized from far away. I'm like, ooh, that's a good mascara. NARS, we're here. They are, oh, that was right in front of the camera. Sorry. They are thick. They are lengthened. I like NARS. I like the NARS one. I knew I was gonna like it even though I never tried it before. I just like had a feeling, I had a vibe. It's like more volumizing I feel. I The brush is like a little bit, both of these brushes I'm like not super stoked on. This one's like pretty, it's pointy, It's it's hard. This one, you know, I don't like it, but like they both do really good things, but I like the NARS one. So let me show you the top, how many? Five, top five mascaras. Here we go, guys, top five. At number five, Benefit, they're real. Good if you like a long lash, not volumizing, but good for length. Number four, we have the Sky High Maybelline Sky High um, Lash Sensational, good for length and some volume. Number three, we have the Milk Mascara, Kush Mascara, good for volume and some separation as well, but good volumizing. Number two, we have Clinique High Impact Mascara, good for natural, thick, looking lashes, individually lash, thicker, longer, 
nice bad wand. At number one, we have the NARS Climax Mascara. Pointy brush, watch your eyes. Good for volumizing and lengthening with separation, but more volume. I like it. I'm happy. We have a top five. I just messed them up. Whoops. Here they are. Here they are, guys. So that is that. Okay, guys, sorry that was a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you really enjoyed it. That is my top five mascaras. You know which one's the top. You know what? Let me know in the comments below what you think is your top. Let me know of the ones that didn't make it, which one you like. We have the, um, I don't even know what this is. Lise Wattier, <laughs> It Cosmetics, the Stila. This is an honorable mention. I know I like this one. It just didn't, uh, and the Maybelline Falsies. Let me know what you think in the comments go below, guys. As always, follow me on all of my socials. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye!